Back to work. This song, uh, this song I wrote, uh, my grandmother sent me a letter about uh, uh, her husband and, uh, and things that he did in, uh, in his life and she sent it uh, a couple days before she passed. And um, I was back in, the, in Halifax for her uh, funeral and it uh, made it, the letter actually got out to Calgary. So. Uh, in 1948, the Red River flooded, and uh, my grandfather, I'm originally from PEI, my grandfather uh, and another farmer heard about this news in, in, in Manitoba, and they thought, like, you know, we need to go and do something about that. So, next day, they uh, loaded up this train in PEI full of livestock and, and all that sort of stuff, just to help these farmers that they never met, uh, because their lives had been shattered, and the floods had taken everything, and they just left. And, they came out and helped, and then my grandfather came out here to Alberta, and then he, uh, and then he actually continued on to, um, into and stuff. So, yeah, I thought, you know, you hear so many shitty stories out there of people not helping people and creeps on the news, and then I thought I heard this. Uh, you get this really uh, genuine and, and, and uh, thoughtful letter, and I thought, I mean, that's really cool. That's a song. So, uh, there you go. This one's called Cotter Train. Well, I got the news last night. Me and Tom were gonna make it right. And at dawn, here we head for town. One, two, three. 